guys and welcome back to my channel at home with shell so in today's video i'll be giving you a very brief explanation of slimming world if you're new to it and also be doing a tesco grocery haul where i'll basically be showing you everything that i picked up in my weekly shop all the meals that i'm planning on making for the next seven days i've split all the food out into basically the meals so all the ingredients and things to make it easier for you and also a few kind of snack ideas too. So I'm sure like many of us in the new year, you wait way too much over the festive period, have put on a few pounds and need to get back onto healthy eating. So I was actually doing Slimming World last year. Um, I really enjoyed doing it. I, I didn't really find it difficult at all. I found it quite easy to maintain. Um, but then towards December, actually it was probably November and December, I just completely went off plan and yeah probably ate way too many mince pies and drank way too much alcohol but i'm back on plan now so i've done my meal plans for the week um if you are new to slimming world then i'll just give you a quick explanation to tell you what it is all about um if you do know it and you just want to watch the grocery haul then you can obviously skip to that part i'll write at the bottom of the screen the time that the grocery haul actually starts so with regards to Slimming World, it's actually very easy to follow. It's super easy. There's essentially three different types of food that you're allowed. So you're allowed all of your free foods. So that is basically, you can have pasta, rice, potatoes, any meats, any salad and vegetables. You can actually have quite a lot of free food and this means it's completely free. And then the other foods are your healthy extras. And there's two types of healthy extras you can have. So there's your healthy extra A. Um, so that is essentially your dairy products. So things like your milk, your cheeses, anything like that. And you are allowed two portions of your healthy extra A's every single day. And then the other thing in your healthy extras is your healthy extra B. Now this is essentially your, it's generally your fibre. So this will be things like your cereals and your breads. And you're only allowed one of these and generally it would need to be a 40 gram portion of cereal, for example. Um, all of it is explained in the book in more detail. And then the final food group. So all foods are basically split into three different groups. So there's the free food, the healthy extras and then lastly are your sins so these are things that you basically need to be sinning so you get a sin value so most people will stick to a 15 sins per day i think for men you're allowed around 25 sins per day and then these are all those foods that either aren't free or aren't healthy extras or maybe you've used your healthy extra so for example you may have had cereal for breakfast and use your healthy extra b but then you might want to have some bread with your lunch so use it and then you because you've already used your healthy extra b you would then need to sin it it sounds complicated but it's actually really easy to understand um i don't go to a group or anything i've never been to a group i've done it all myself and i succeeded i did it last january and lost stone within 28 days so that just goes to show how easy it is to follow without going to the groups or anything um i know the groups really help some people um actually go in there and being weighed but i just did it myself at home um you do need to be quite self-motivated to do it and i found that actually taking pictures like before and after pictures as horrible as it is to stand there and take photos of yourself in your underwear um it is worth it and then you can actually start to see the progress literally even after a week you can see slight differences um and then obviously weighing yourself as well so I actually um, ordered the Slimming World starter pack from eBay. I got it from eBay last year. So I think you get about six different books in here and it explains everything to you. Um, normally you'd get these when you actually join a group as well, or you can join online. Um, but like I said, I didn't really want to do anything like that. I quite enjoy cooking anyway, so I was happy to do it by myself. Um, and then you get the book. So one of the main books is called the Food Optimising Book. And this basically explains everything to you in a lot more detail. So basically what I've just been through, so there's your free food, your healthy extras, your sins, um, and then it just tells you like exactly what meat is free food. It just basically talks you through everything, how many um, for like grams and things count as your healthy extras. So you can see on here, for example, if you look at a cheese, 
Um, so 30 grams of cheddar cheese would be one of your healthy extra A's. So it's got all of that in there. And if you are starting Slimming World and not going to join one of the groups, then I would definitely re recommend getting this pack. It's really useful. And like I said, I just picked it up on eBay. Um, it's also got a couple of like dinner ideas and things in here. So it's got like here a chicken, beef and lamb or different things that you can have. Um, and then at the back, it literally has all of the sin values. So you can see, for example, here, so a tortilla wrap would be eight sins each. So if you are going out, you're not quite sure, then you can do this. And if you do join up, um, I believe that you get an app and you can search all foods on the app. But honestly, I find it quite easy to just to be able to search things online. Most people will have put what sins are somewhere anyway as well. So I do find that quite useful. Um, and then what I also use um, is this book that I got from Amazon. I absolutely live by this book. And my key piece of advice to you, if you are planning on doing Slimming World or any diets or anything is planning. Planning is honestly key. Um, it stops you falling off track. And if you meal plan everything, like I literally meal plan my breakfast, lunch and dinner, and then it stops me thinking, oh, what should I have? And then you just reach for something really unhealthy and then just do, undo all of the good work that you've been doing. Um, but a meal planner like this is amazing. I just got this from Amazon. I think it was five or six pounds and it's literally like my little Bible. I love writing in it when um when i'm doing it so you can start here it's got like you put all your information in here so you know what day it is when you're going to weigh yourself your goals for the year um you put all your weight and everything in here and your measurements so you can track it so this is a 12 week one um and then each day you can basically put in your sorry arabella wrote in this little bit here um but each day you can basically put your breakfast lunch and dinner um what you are having for your breakfast lunch and dinner eat every single day so you can plan it out and this is just basically a snapshot so you've got all the different weeks here where you can plan it out and then what i really like about it is every single day you can then track what you're eating in more detail so for example if you get to the end of the week and you think oh do you know what i've done really well this week or oh actually i've actually put on some pounds this week or i haven't lost any then you can look back at your tracker and actually see where you went wrong you may have eating something that, I don't know, maybe makes you put on weight or maybe you didn't have enough vegetables or you didn't have enough water or whatever it might be. Um, so I'll put a close up of this, but basically, so every single day you get morning, midday, evening and snacks. And then you would write what your free food was, what speed food you had. So your speed food is essentially like your vegetables and salad and things like that. Um, any healthy extra A's and B's. So what I normally do is split this column and write A and B and then put it on there. And then what treats you've had or sins. Um, and then you can put your sin values down here as well to make sure that you don't go over it. Or if you do, then you know you've gone over it. And then I quite like this little mood tracker as well because sometimes it's just nice to know how you are feeling. You might have eaten something and thought, oh, do you know what? I feel that was a little bit too stodgy or something for lunch and I don't feel that great in the afternoon. Um, so I do quite like being able to track my mood and then I'll write any comments. And as I said, I really enjoy reflecting back on this. And then there's a section here where you can tick how much water that you have in. So remember to try and keep your water intake up as well. Um, and then there's a section where you can tick off your fruit and vegetables and also a fitness tracker. So each of these little people gives you 30 minutes. So I try and aim to do at least 30 minutes of exercise a day. Um, I'm going to try and go to the gym three times a week. I'd like to do more, but I need to be realistic and set myself realistic goals with a busy life. Three times is probably as many times as I can realistically um, get to the gym. But when I'm not going to the gym, then I'll try and do something at home. Even if it's something as little as on your lunch break, just going out for a walk or just when you wake up, just following a YouTube video and doing some exercise or something like that. So yeah, I've talked for ages about this, but honestly, I absolutely love this little book. Um, I'll link it in the description box down below. But it was just from Amazon if anyone wants to buy it. Um, and it is fantastic for keeping me on track. 
So I really hope that part was useful and gave you a bit of an explanation around Slimming World if you are new to it and looking to try it. So now onto the actual grocery haul itself. Um, so just for your information, there's four of us that live here. So three adults and one child who will be eating. Um, my daughter, my eldest daughter is now actually gluten and dairy free. So that makes things a little bit more challenging. Um, but most of the meals that I am including are completely gluten-free anyway. There's a couple of things that aren't necessarily dairy-free, um, where for example, I need to put cream cheese in it, um, but I would just leave that out for her portion. And say for example, if I'm making it with pasta, then I would just use gluten-free pasta for her and normal pasta for ourselves. So if you are also gluten-free, then all of these meals will be really useful for you guys too. So each night, just to let you know, over on my Instagram, I do upload the meals that we're having every single night. I also upload my weekly meal plans so if you're interested in that then you can follow me over on Instagram too. So let's get into the grocery haul showing you what I've picked up from Tesco's and what we'll be having for dinner for the next week. So Monday we will be having Spanish rice. I absolutely love this dish because it's also all made in one pot so super easy and saves on washing up. So for this dish I'm just going to use some chicken breast. So normally when I've made this before I have made it using um, chorizo but chorizo is obviously higher in calories and sin so I'm just going to use chicken breast. Um, then I've just served with making it with normal basmati rice, some chicken stock, an onion, I'll also add some garlic, um, a couple of red chilies, you can obviously not put that many in if you don't want it that spicy. Um, one red pepper and then a couple of other ingredients such as some spices like cumin, paprika, um, some tomato puree and then I'll also add some olives in which I've got in the fridge and then I'll have a one pot Spanish dish. Tuesday I'm going to make a pie, so I'm going to make a sausage pie, um, but instead of using normal sausages I'm going to be using these chicken sausages, I absolutely love these, they're from Heck, they're actually on offer in Tesco's at the moment as well, um, they're the chicken Italia um, chipolatas, really tasty and they're only half a sin per sausage and they are also only 75 calories for two sausages, so really good and low in calories also gluten free and high in protein and then to make this um, the base will just include some onions some garlic celery some peas in there some chicken stock um, a little bit of thyme and some tomato puree and then i'll be doing a mustard mash to go on top so i'll just basically mash the potatoes and put some mustard powder and an egg in put that on top and then just serve it with some carrots and broccoli that i have in the fridge Wednesday we'll be having a vegetarian chilli. Um, I really love making chilli and I love this one because it's full of veggies and I'm also going to do it in the slow cooker so it's just ready when I get in from work. So for this one I'm going to use sweet potato, green lentils, I did want the dried ones but Tesco sent the, um, the tinned ones but hopefully it will still work okay. And then I'll just put some celery in there that I showed earlier, an onion, um, then I've got a courgette going in there, some red pepper, chopped tomatoes, passata, and then some chilli, cumin, paprika, oregano, and then probably a little bit of balsamic going in there. And I'll just serve that with some basmati rice. Thursday, we're having a super easy dinner. So I'll just be having a prawn spaghetti dish. I've showed this on my channel before. It's definitely one of our go-to meals because it's super easy when you get in from work. So for this, we'll just have a pack of frozen raw jumbo king prawns, which are absolutely delicious. And they literally cook in seconds, well not seconds, minutes. Um, and then I just served that with some spaghetti, a little bit of chilli, some courgette in there and some cherry tomatoes that I have in the fridge and that is it. Um, literally I just add a couple of basil leaves too and it is such a tasty easy dish. Friday we'll be having a paprika chicken dish. Again it's super easy to make and it all goes into one pan which you all know that I absolutely love. So for this I'm just going to use some chicken breast, a couple of onions a whole pack of peppers, so I actually just put three peppers in to really fill it out with the veggies. And then obviously some paprika, and then the only other spices that I add is just some oregano. Some salt and pepper, some chicken stock, 
and then at the end I'll just stir through some light soft cheese and it is honestly a really delicious creamy dinner and I'll just serve this with some rice on the side. Saturday evening I'll be making a creamy pesto pasta again another really simple quick meal so for this I'm just going to use some penne pasta that I already had in the cupboard um, already also going to add some pesto I've got the low fat version of pesto um, which it's obviously got some thins in it but it's fairly low in thins compared to the other pesto so I've got that in the fridge and um, then I just add to that some courgette some peas, some garlic and some soft cheese um, then just with a few fresh basil leaves and honestly it's a really yummy delicious creamy pasta meal that's ready in a matter of minutes. So that is all the meals that I wanted to share with you and um, we're actually going to Nick's mum's house on Sunday for dinner so I just thought I would share the other bits that I picked up so I'll start with the fridge things over here so picked up milk, we always have skimmed milk, Arabella has blue milk and Tamsin is now um, gluten and dairy free which has made making dinners interesting. So she has some almond milk. Um, Arabella loves these smoothies, they're on offer in Tesco's at the minute as well so we've got a couple of packs of these. Um, got her some fruits for school, some apple juice, school nursery, um, some apple juice, some other juice. I got some of the Fargy, I'm not sure how you say it, I think it's Fargy, Fargy yogurt, which is the 0% fat free one, which I'll just have with some fruit, which I love and is completely free on Slimming World. Um, I've got Tamsin, some of the free from yogurts, which she tells me actually tastes quite nice. Arabella has just got some Munch Bunch yogurts. Um, got a packet of ham, some fruit, we've already got quite a lot of fruit in the fridge um, kind of like strawberries and things like that so didn't need too much so just picked up some apples and some grapes and blueberries so I also got some tinned items, so I got some chopped tomatoes some of the Tesco soup, Nick really likes this for his lunch so I got him a couple of those um, some beans and sausages so both Tamsin and Arabella like these ones and then some tuna which I'll probably just have on baked potatoes with some salad um, ham obviously always comes in handy I really enjoy having sardines on toast as well so that will be one of my lunches um, I did also get a couple of leeks because with the carrots that will be left over from one of the dinners and the potatoes I'm going to make a potato and leek soup which again I'll have for dinner a couple of days um, Nick really likes the malt loaf so I've got him some of that um, just got some eggs some cheese these cheese slices are really handy and then in terms of snacks so just got Arabella some of these snacks and um, Tamsin being gluten free these she really enjoys these ones that are actually gluten free um, and then for myself I have the salt and vinegar rice cakes which I absolutely love and I think are two sins um, per rice cake and only 30 calories so a really good snack to have when you're trying to lose weight um, and then Nick and Arabella have just got this loaf of bread they really enjoy this white loaf with sourdough I really like it too but it is much higher in calories and sins um, so for me I'm going to have the wholemeal sliced loaf the um, the Warburton smaller loaf which is one of my healthy extra bees as well if you're following Slimming World and only 55 calories per slice so literally half the calories of a normal piece of bread so well worth it um, and then just picked up some cereal so got the um, Nick and Arabella these cinnamon um, shreddies whatever they are um, as I mentioned Tamsin is gluten and dairy free so got her some of these honey hoops and also got me and Arabella some Weetabix so they are all the groceries that I got delivered in today's Tesco delivery I really hope that you enjoyed this video whether you're new to my channel or new to Slimming World then I would love for you to subscribe and like this video thank you very much for watching I hope you found it useful and hopefully I will see you again soon Bye!